Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a vector logo in Photoshop. And also, we will dive deeper into changing image pixels, using a color picker, desaturating our image, applying Gaussian blur, creating curves, creating a work path, and exporting our image into VG file. So let's get started! So here in our document, I got here an image of this logo and you will also notice that it is in a low resolution and if we try to zoom in on the sides well it looks terrible all right so our goal here is to sharpen that and export this file into a vector the first step we're gonna do here is we're going to adjust the image size so to do that with this background selected i am going to the menu bar Select on image, under image, choose image size. And then we're going to set the width into a higher pixels like 2000. All right. And for the resolution, I'm going to set this one to 300 pixels. Three inches. Okay. There are. And then select. Okay. And the image will get bigger just like this. All right. And the next step here is we're going to duplicate our background layer. So for us to see the before and after later on. Press Control Shift J for that. Okay, and then I'm gonna hide this background layer. Okay, and then select on this this new layer. My next goal here is to desaturate this image to turn it to black, white, or gray because later on this image will be distorted. But before we desaturate this image, we have to save this color first. Okay, to bring this back later on. Okay, so to do that, go to the toolbar, select on this. This is the eyedropper tool, and then get a color sample on our logo there you go and automatically it will be there at the foreground okay and now we're now going to desaturate this one so to do that all you have to do is to press Control plus shift plus u and it will turn into this turn to color gray isn't it and by the way if you find this video helpful so far please consider subscribing to help youtube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us going back the next step we're going to do here is we're going to apply a Gaussian blur on our... Okay, so I'm going to zoom this one in. Zoom this one into this, okay? And you will notice that the edges are not that well, right? With that layer selected, I'm going to the filter. Under filter, go to blur, and then choose Gaussian blur. Alright, so I'm going to put the radius into zero pixels for now so for us to adjust it for us to see the changes i'm going to move the slider to the right to increase okay so i'm going i'm going to find a perfect effect here to straighten that up okay so there are 9.2 is fine and then select okay all right the next step we're going to we're going to do here is we're going to create curves so with this layer selected, I am going to the right bottom of the screen, okay? Click on the adjustment layer, and then select on curves. Okay. And for the properties, from the shadow point, I'm going to put that in the middle, this. Look at the changes, all right? And then for the highlights, I'm going to also put that in the middle. Okay, so when I'm trying to adjust that, now look at the edges of our logo. Now that looks perfect right okay so i'm still going to adjust it to find the best effect for this okay all right there you have it now look at that amazing isn't it all right then the next step here is i'm going to merge these two layers so i'm going to click on this and then hold shift and click on the other one right click on it and then merge layers and there you go zoom this one out Okay, so you can see the edges of our logo. That's perfect. All right, now to bring back the color, I'm going to make use of a paint bucket tool here. So to do that, go into the toolbar, find this symbol, click on that. Or if you can't find it, you can find it under the gradient tool. Okay, right click on this and then choose the paint bucket tool. And you can see the foreground color that we just tried to pick a while ago is still here, the color green one. Okay, and I'm going to paint it on our image. Okay, also here and here. All right, so let's zoom this one out to see we did well. Okay, there are. 
like the paint backup tool and also paint on the map. The next step we're gonna do here is to remove those white backgrounds. But how to do that? Okay, so we're going to make use of a magic one tool. Go into the toolbar, go into the fourth tool, first, second, third, fourth, right click on it, and you're gonna see here the magic one tool. Click on that, and then we're going to click on those background, those color white. Okay, so this one, I'll do this, this one on the face, eyes. All right, so make sure that are all clicked. And then after that, with all, with that selection, press backspace and the background will be totally gone. And there are, okay? And then let's deselect this one. Press control plus D and there you go. Now we just made this one. Look at the edges, that seems perfect. Now I'm gonna show you the before and after on this part, but by zooming this one in. Okay, so look at this. So this one is the before and this one is the after. All right, now I'm going to zoom this one out. Okay, so because the next step here is we're going to export the image to a vector. Okay, with our finished product. Okay, I'm going to the file on the menu bar. Click on that. Then choose export. And under export, choose export as. And this will appear. And for the format, from the file setting for the format, make sure that you're going to save it into svg okay so this one is for the vector okay so even though if you make your logo bigger well it won't destroy the graphics of it okay so just click on this once done select export and then set the file name and save and there you have it and that is how to create a vector logo in photoshop